Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Andrea Romoy. Uh, I am going to present the talk about mathematics competences assessment at the laboratory sessions of aerospace and general freshmen. Freshmen meaning the, the students from year. Okay. Uh, there is one little mistake that I want to, to, to give it here because there is one more author, but I don't know what, what, what happened with the space, but Francisco Minget is also an author of this, uh, of this uh, talk. Okay, let's start from, from the beginning. We are giving classes in the, in the uh, aerospace engineering in the design school of the Technical University of Valencia. We, we have been using from the last years an educational platform uh, called Polyformat uh, based upon the Sakai project. This, this uh, uh, educational platform has uh, offered us many, many tools like uh, the document distribution, live chat, or forums uh, that keep uh, in contact with, that keep us in contact with the students. Now, today we are going to focus on uh, the subject mathematics, uh, sorry, uh, mathematics one. Uh, it's a compulsory uh, subject. It has 120 contact hours from uh, 75% uh, of them, they are theory and, and problem sessions, and the other 25% is laboratory sessions, in which the students usually work with a computer individual. That's very important. Okay, what is the innovation? Uh, let me continue a little bit, because uh, what we are going to try, or what are we are trying, we are trying to uh, change a little bit the way we give classes in the lab sessions. We are, uh, I, I, we are applying a method based on the flipped classroom. That means that the students are going to work a little bit in, in home, pre, uh, previously uh, or, or uh, in advance of the lab session, and in class we can just uh, obtain a little benefit from this. Okay? I, I want to explain a little bit how it's going to work and which is the method we use uh, with a polyformat platform because it's uh, something really useful and we have been benefit from it. Okay, uh, let me start with, uh, with this presentation because I'm, I'm talking too fast. Uh, the objective uh, has been minimize the dropout, the dropout, the dropout survey and losses of interest. And we also wanted to design a new way to assist the students from uh, promoting continuous work. This is the hard, the hard part. The methodology is it's like I, I told you before, it's based on a flipped classroom methodology and the students are requested to prepare in advance the lab sessions. So we can, we can avoid to not waste time but, but to save some time uh, explaining some of the easy examples or easy exercises we use to, to start with the classes with. Okay. Uh, also, we, we, uh, we try to increase the motivation and improve the perception of the mathematics subjects by engineering freshmen. Uh, drops out, I've been uh, told before. Okay, this is the way we do it. This is the way we do it. Uh, this is the previous work. This is what the students see before the classroom. This is a, a typical picture from our uh, platform. This is a polyformat. And as you can see here, we have many, many, many options that we can use to get in contact with uh, students. Okay, the first part is, is uh, we, we put some uh, in resources, we put some uh, notes or exercises, so the students need to read before the, the class and do the exercises we ask them. They are not really difficult exercises. In fact, the, the most important part is not to add some uh, notes here and to put, please do it that, and nothing more. The, the work, I think, the, the, the hardest work is to select the proper exercises the, to, the, to get the, the difficulty increase a little bit. Because if we put some exercises from the beginning that they are too difficult, they are going to lose uh, any interest in doing that. So we first put some exercises, some, to put some theory here. Ah, one, one more thing, uh, all the exercises has been explained in theory. It's not like uh, it's new for them, because in the, in the theory problem uh, part, we explain them how to do the exercises. So here we have a little bit more exercises. Next step, okay, when the students do this work, then they go to class, and the first 30 minutes, we devote time to clarify the doubts that may have, they, they might have. 
lecturer solves the solution of the proposed exercises and maybe if there's uh, some time left, we can propose new exercises to do with them in the class. Okay, this is the, okay, I, I don't know if I told you before, but it's not only that uh, we are working with the polyformat, we are also working with Mathematica software. We have a license in the, in the university and they can use it at home or in the university. Okay, we solve the problems. There are not only problems about mathematics, but I think it's a good idea to show you that we, we also uh, use this, uh, this software. And uh, after that, the 30 minutes uh, after this, this part, they need to do an exercise, a test. It's not like an exam, a typical exam, it's just a test. The, we have many options in this, in this platform. The test could be just uh, open, open questions, could be test, could be numerical answers, it, it, many, many options. We also control the time in which they need to do this, this uh, work. There's a mistake, this is 40 minutes, and I told you this is 30 minutes only. Okay, but anyway, we can, we can, we can set the, the time. We can set the IPs mm, to avoid people doing this exam from uh, outside of the university or, or some friends. And we can also add uh, the username and the password to get more, more uh, confidentiality. Okay, in these 30 minutes, they need to solve the exam. This, is, this will be a score for them at the end of this, of this, uh, of this test. And the, I think, uh, we think that this is really important, not only about the, 30 minutes, the first 30 minutes uh, solving some doubts, the, th the next 30 minutes doing some tests, the, the, the last part is after class. We offer them the opportunity to check everything they have done. They, they have a feedback about the score, about the correct answers, about the mistakes they have done, and then, and then we, they can contact us with messages or uh, sometimes they use the, the chat room or the messages or the forums. We, we are, one of us is always uh, on, in, online. Uh, we are five teachers and, and always there is someone that can answer the, the questions. Okay, next. Uh, here you have a picture in which the, you can see how we look uh, to the scores of the students. It is very, very important to, to follow all the marks in, in here because it's a way that we can detect the people that are starting to drop out the, 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 the subject. Or maybe they are starting to not uh, feel really comfortable with his method or, or the scores are going, going low. Okay, so we can check here what is happening with the students. I think it's, 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 it's something we will really use because it's important to detect in as soon as possible, the people who is trying to not <coughs> to go to class or to drop out. Uh, a little bit of, of results. Okay, let's take a look. TP means theory problems exams. LP means laboratory practice exams. There's no, and this is the sessions. I, I want to, to, to clarify something. Uh, they have 27 sessions. I think it's 28 sessions. The first one is, no, is nothing because it's just explaining how it's going to work. They have two more exams about this laboratory. Uh, this la they are these two exams. The laboratory uh, laboratory exams is like exactly what they do in the sessions, but without any help, because in these sessions the teacher is available to answer any question. That is the reason we have some good marks here. Okay. Uh, the, the rest of the scores are not bad because uh, they are not bad, but as you can see, they are lower scores than the, the sessions. Uh, one, one thing I, I want to point out is that the scores, as you can see, are always progressive increasing. So I think it's, it's, a, good, it's a good idea. Okay, the scores is easy also seen here. Uh, we have put some colors. Uh, the important colors is... Uh, the people who, who fail is, uh, I don't think you will, if you do it, blue color is the people who, don't, who, don't, who fail the exams, okay? Be careful because in this case, uh, okay, as you can see in theory problem, there are many, many, uh, much more uh, people that fail, but at the end of the course, uh, we have a really, really uh, nice results. About 60% is, is failing the subject, not more. 
Uh, after that, what, what, how can we improve this method? Okay, we, we pass a poll to the, to the students in order to, to get some feedback from them. Anyway, we are in contact with them by forum, chat forum, or, or live, or uh, person by person. Anyway, we always put in at the end this, this kind of polls. From here, we can see that the number of practices is, is enough. Okay, 80%, 85% of students think that they are a uh, correct number. And more important, that's the, the, the sessions fits with the context of seeing in theory, in theory problems. Uh, I think enough and much, it's um, about 85%. Okay, it's, it's good, good, uh, good answers. Okay, and more things using polyform and laboratory practices uh, makes it easier to learn the concepts of exactly 84% mm, seem, uh, say that uh, they, it's easier after we practice in the, in the lab sessions the, the, the contents of theory. Uh, I think the evaluated in lab, in, lab, in lab practices through polyform and at the end of each practice is it's good for my learning. Okay, it's good for 76%. It's also a good number. Conclusions. We have been applying this, this method not only in this year. We have been trying to promote this method for many years. This year is the one we have uh, all complete, all the session complete. And uh, this change is based on a flipped teaching methodology, it's necessary an extensive development of materials for the adequate preparation of each session. It is a hard work in this, in this part. The implementation, the implementation of this methodology makes an intensive use of an educational platform, that is true. We use many, many times the platform. And the learning pro process applied has proven to be helpful, helpful in reducing the number of dropouts. Uh, the numbers haven't been shown here uh, before that, but I can tell you this is about 3% uh, or 4% in each year. So I think we, 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 can, we have obtained a good number in, in, in avoiding dropouts. And excellent scores were, uh, were obtained by the students, enforcing the point of view of the authors about this methodology. Okay, I need to, I need to, to be true, I need to add one more sentence about that. All the scores are good, but it's not, uh, we, we offer them a methodology that I think they allow us to improve uh, all, the, all the year long. But we must say that we are talking about engineer aerospecial students. Uh, they are out, uh, outstanding students. They have really, really good marks. We are not talking about the group that uh, they don't have, know how to solve any problem. They know how to do it. Uh, uh, we, uh, we ask them to do exercises, about four or five exercises a day, and they do more than that. They ask us to, to, to give more exercises to them. Okay? So we have something, uh, we, we push them a little bit, but I need to, to advise their outstanding students.